Hi, before I get into my pitch, I want you all to imagine that you are an 18 year old recovering addict. Congratulations. You have just graduated high school in the middle of a pandemic. Only you don't know whether your college will be reopened to attend in the fall. You're also bummed out about not having any senior activities, a prom or traditional graduation. And depending on your race, you are either realizing or coping with the real racial realities of living in America. Now you're processing all of this while also dealing with the everyday triggers that you have due to being a reformed drug addict. That's why I, Jennifer Wilson, am pitching to you Sober Buddy to help the people with the reality similar to this. Sober Buddy, you don't have to go through it alone. Now the problem slash opportunity. The problem is, is that according to NIDA, the National Institute on Drug Abuse, between 40 to 60% of recovering addicts relapse within a year. Majority of these recovering addicts who relapse are people who don't seek further assistance after rehab. The National Center for Drug Abuse Statistics also confirmed that in 2020, 47% of teenagers used an illicit drug by the time they graduated high school. And 43% of college students still use illicit drugs. Fortunately, NIDA has found that mobile treatments can apps can assist in behavioral therapies to help an addict stay in recovery for longer. Now, my value proposition. Sober Buddy is a free helpful app that aids people in the recovery process. This app can help users do the following. It can connect people with, to create an online anonymous support system. It can create online forms to express thoughts so they can gain support from people like them. And with Sober Buddy Premium, Users can track how long they've been sober and celebrate milestones along the way and get professional help and advice from a verified addictions counselors, therapists, and related workers. And there will be soon more features to come in the upcoming months. Now, our underlying magic. Users can connect with people from the comfort of their own home. This app is pandemic friendly, which is a necessary in this time that we live in. Users will be encouraged to create an online anonymous profile so they can better secure their identity from people who may not want to know that they struggle with substance abuse. Users can have one-on-one -on -one conversations with people and they can also have the comfortability of talking to people without having to see them face-to-face. -face. Now our target market. My total population is the total population of drug addicts in America, which is around 22.3 million. My total market population is the population of addicts in recovery, which is around 2.1 million. And my market size is the number of users who use apps similar to us, which is around 180,000. My psychographics is a new generation of recovery. My demographics is people of all ages, race, creed. And my geographics for now, I'm starting in America, just having an American-based company for now. And my buying patterns are people who struggle with substance abuse. Now my marketing plan. My channel is that I'm doing this all digitally. My awareness is that I'm gonna do word of mouth discounts from referrals from AA meetings. And I wanna partner with nonprofit organizations to help distribute the premium app to people for free. My key metrics to gauge if this is working is I'm gonna do 25% refer, see if 25% of the referrals downloaded the app. My purchase, how I'm going to purchase marketing is I'm gonna do promoted advertisement across different social media platforms. And I'm also gonna do Google ads targeting people looking for treatment centers. I'm going to see if this is working. I'm going to see if a thousand new people decided to install the app. And my retention to keep people, I'm going to do a 10% discount every four months the user decides to continue purchasing the app. And I'm going to do gamification badges awarded to recurring users who hit milestones in their recovery process. The key metrics to gauge if this is working is, is I'm going to see if 90% of the users continued using the app. Now my competitive analysis. I couldn't find too many apps that were similar to me, but you're probably wondering why can't you just join a Facebook group? Well, here's why you shouldn't. Is that Sober Buddy has factor one, inclusivity. Anybody can join Sober Buddy, while with Facebook groups, you have to get accepted in the group. Factor two that we have are unique features. With Sober Buddy, there are certain features that are catered towards people battling addiction. While with Facebook groups, it only allows you to use the standard Facebook features. And factor three that we have is anonymity. With Sober Buddy, users, users are encouraged to use their a false identity, while with Facebook groups, users have to use their real identity, which may not be the ideal case scenario if you want to 
you know, get help in private. Our unfair advantages, in short, are is that Sober Buddy is inclusive for anyone to join. Sober Buddy has more features than Facebook groups, and Sober Buddy users can secure their identity and be anonym and be anonymous. My qualifications. My qualifications are that I helped my mother study when she was taking her substance abuse counseling course at South Suburban College. This is actually what inspired me the idea to create an app like this. I also volunteered at Restoration Ministries, a rehab center in Harvey, Illinois. And hearing their stories was also very inspiring and made me realize the gap for resources in the recovery world. I also took entrepreneurship and business classes in high school, and I have knowledge of the ins and outs of running a business from helping out in my family's business. My cost structure, the most anticipated point probably. My definition of one unit is one purchase of the premium Sober Buddy app. I'm gonna do three models of the Sober Buddy app. I'm gonna do a, a free model, which will run ads and will have limited features. I'm gonna do a premium model, which will have more features and have no ads. And I'm gonna partner with nonprofit organizations so that they can distribute the premium app to people for free. My economics of one unit is my selling price is $2.99. My total cost of goods and services is 60 cent. And my contribution margin is $2.39. Essentially, I need 677 units to break even. My current status and future plans. Currently, we are working on creating the app and fundraising money to execute the app's development. Plans for growth is that I want to raise $51,500 in startup funding to create the app. I want to develop the free model, premium model, and nonprofit model. I want to increase awareness of the app through word of mouth referrals, social media awareness, and Google advertisements. And I want to partner with nonprofit organizations to make the premium app more accessible to those who need it. I'm Jennifer Wilson, and this has been Sober Buddy.